Hey guys, this is Awesome Coder. So in this video we're going to create a flying bird game using Scratch 3. Allow me to show you the finished version of the game. So as you can see we control a parrot, and we can actually move it up or down using arrow keys. As the game progresses the score is increasing. As an obstacle a flock of enemy birds, in this case toucans is coming towards us and we have to avoid hitting any enemy bird. If we collide with an enemy bird we lose the game. And we have to play the game again. So yeah, very beginner friendly game. But I think we can learn a lot from this one. So without any further delay let's get started. So here in my scratch editor I'll delete the default cat sprite. Click choose a backdrop. In the search bar, type blue. And select this blue sky 2 sprite. Click on choose a sprite. Search a sprite named Parrot. Click on it. Rename the sprite to Bird. And before I forget, rename the project to Flying Bird, which is the name of our game. As you can see the sprite size is too large, we need a smaller size off course. Change the size to 40%. Set the X position to minus 180. Now in costumes you can see the bird has two costumes and if we change between these costumes after a small interval we can create a flying animation. So it will look like the bird is flapping its wings. For that let's get back to the code area. From events drag in the when green flag clicked block. Add a forever block. From looks, bring in the next costume block. Now this block will change between the two costumes I just showed you. Let's run the game. Now the bird is flapping the wings, but as you can see it's very fast. As I told you earlier we need to change to the next costume after some amount of time has passed. So from control bring in the wait 1 second block. Instead of 1 second put in 0.2 seconds. Now our costume will change after 0.2 seconds. Run the game. Perfect our bird is flapping its wings. Now we need to control the bird with up and down arrow keys. Let's say when green flag clicked. Bring in the forever block. Bring in the if block. From sensing bring in the key pressed block. Select the up arrow key from the drop down. Now when the up arrow key is pressed we want the bird to move upwards, for that we've to change the Y position by a positive number. So from motion category drag the change Y by 10 block. Duplicate this if block. Instead of the up arrow select down arrow. And change Y by minus 10, so that the bird moves in the bottom direction. Run the game. And see if you can control the bird with up and down arrow keys. Now notice a little problem here. The bird can actually move outside the stage, we don't want that. So let's fix it. We just need one block for this. So from motion select if on edge, bounce block. Put it underneath the if blocks. Now whenever the bird will try to move outside the stage, it will bounce back with the help of this block. Let's test if this theory holds true. Run the game. And as expected no matter how hard I try the bird can never get past the visible bounds of the stage. Now let's create the enemy bird. Click on, select a sprite. In the search bar type, toucan. Select the toucan sprite. Make sure the toucan sprite is selected. Then go to the costumes tab. Delete the costumes we don't need. We are only going to need this one. 
But as you can see the toucan is facing in the wrong direction, we want it to face in the opposite direction. Select Flip Horizontal to flip the sprite horizontally. Now compared to the parrot the toucan sprite is much larger, so we need to make its size smaller. Change the size to 60%. Perfect. Now we need to clone our toucan sprite so that we have a flock of the toucans, and we want them to keep coming from right to left. So for that, first bring in the when green flag clicked. Drag in the forever block. Now we want to spawn another sprite after some time has passed, otherwise the whole stage is going be to filled by the toucans, and of course we don't want that. So drag in the wait for 1 second block, change 1 second to 2 seconds. Scroll down in the control category and drag in the create clone of myself. Now every 2 seconds a clone of the toucan sprite is going to be created. Now we want the clones to come from the right edge of the stage, and keep moving in the left direction towards the player. So for that drag in the when I start as a clone block. Now let me show you something, set the toucan sprite's x position to a big number something like 400. As you can see the maximum x position the sprite can have is 270, in your case it might be different. So now we want our sprite to always start at x position of 270. From motion drag in the set x block. And set x to 270. Now let me show you one another thing. Set our toucan sprite's x position to a negative number something like minus 400. As you can see here also the minimum allowed value for the x position is minus 270. So we want our toucan sprite to move till this position on x axis and then delete itself. From control drag in the repeat until block. From operators bring in the equality operation. Here pass in minus 270. From motion drag in the X position. Put it here. Now the code inside this block is going to run until the toucan's x position becomes minus 270. Inside here we want to always change the x position by minus 5. So when the toucan is going to touch the left edge of the stage we are going to come out of this repeat until block. And then we simply need to delete the corresponding toucan sprite. So from control bring in the delete this clone block. And put it as the last block. Now run the game. And the toucans keep coming from the right side. And they are also being deleted when they hit the left edge. But notice there is this sprite always stuck at the left edge. Well this is the original toucan sprite from which the clones are created. We need to hide it when the game starts. From looks bring in the hide block. Put it here. Run the game. Well now the original sprite is not showing up anymore, good. But notice that after 2 seconds have passed our clones are also not showing anymore. So here in when I start as a clone, we need to show that clone. So bring in the show block and put it above the repeat until block. Good, now the clones keep coming and they're being deleted whenever they touch the left edge. Now we need to randomize the Y position of every clone so that they start from somewhat different position than each other. Let me first of all show you something. Here in the toucan sprite let's click on the I button to make it temporarily visible. Set X to 0 in order to center it horizontally. Now let's change Y to 400. Ok let's set it 180 maybe. Ok 150 looks good. And same is true in the negative direction also. So yeah now we know we need to pick a random value for the Y position from minus 150 to 150. So first bring in the set Y block.
from operators bring in the pick random block. So put in minus 150 and 150. Now run the game. And voila, now they are randomly being cloned at random Y positions. Now as the last feature to our game let's implement the scoring mechanics. For that we need to create a variable that keeps track of our score. Go to the variables category, and delete this variable that is created for us by default. Click on, make a variable. Make sure, for all sprites, is selected. Name the variable, score. Now you can see our score label is positioned at the top left of the stage. Select the bird sprite. Now we need to increment the score by 1 every 0.2 seconds. For that bring in the change score by 1 block and put it here. Play the game. And our score keeps increasing. But one thing I want to show you, notice when we stop the game and play it again the score is not resetting back to zero. It is keeping its state. We don't want that. We need to set the score to zero when the game starts. Bring in set score to zero and put it as the first block here. Run the game. And now the score is resetting back to zero when the game starts again. So this is it. I know this is a very simple approach to building this game, and obviously there is a lot we can add to this game. But I think it'll do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Until next time.